let's get into this video. favorite things to watch on TikTok is new ways to style curly hair. Like curls and curl techniques seem to be continuously developing and even like old curl techniques are coming back into trend and it's just like a really fascinating community. On TikTok it's like there are so many different things that you could do for curly hair. But one of my favorite curly hair hacks that I saw on TikTok was this creator who used their hairbrush, the handle of their hairbrush, to form a curl. And so that got me thinking it would be really fantastic if there there would be a brush that could completely help aid your curl into always getting the nicest curl pattern. One of my favorite ways to get curls or like ringlets rather like really nice ringlet curls on my curlier hair types is just by rolling them around the handle curly not curly <laughs> anyway so that's what i'm gonna be doing while well, also explaining to you what it's like to have a brand i feel like i haven't actually gotten down and sat with you as i create this I also wanted to tackle some kind of repeated questions or issues or whatever that you guys have had in relation to my products. One of the most common queries that I keep receiving and anticipated, to be fair, is the price of the brush. My brushes are retailing for 52 US dollars. That is the cost of the brush. And a lot of people are obviously saying like that is an outrageous amount for a brush. They're like, my $8 brush or my $10 or my $2 brush can do the exact same thing. And they're like, that $52 is not the price of an average brush. And the sad thing is that they themselves have already pinpointed kind of the issue. When the reality is that this isn't an average brush. When I wanted to create this, I knew that I was going to create a premium product. I was like, if I'm going to be attaching my name to anything, I want it to be something that I contribute to. I want it to be something that is authentic to something that I would use. I didn't want to just plaster my name onto something that already existed. I didn't want to white label and just take an existing product and an existing consumable and just use that to, as an additional way to make money. So when I was creating this, I was like, I want to put everything that I've learned from my years in hair, from my years in salon work, and kind of put that into the brush. And one of the things that I knew that I wanted was an aesthetically appealing brush. This is not the same as an $8 brush. It is not the same as a $10 brush. It is not the same as a $20 or $30 brush. This has the price that it has because it was not meant to be an average hairbrush. This brush was designed with multiple features, multiple aesthetic decisions that most hairbrushes do not offer. This was never meant to be an average brush. If you think that this brush and an $8 brush is the same, then probably the $8 brush is what you need. And I have no problem with that. But if you're saying you think they look the same or they perform the same, or they were made with the same designs, they were made in the same time frame, then I'm here to tell you that it's not. I wanted to create something that you can display in your home. This was made with the same thought process as your kitchen mirror was, as your bathroom vanity as your light fixture. If I wanted to just buy a light bulb so I, I can have light, then that's that's up to me. But I would know that I would be looking at that thing every single morning and I would not have the best experience with it. And so I would still go out and buy a more expensive light fixture that I actually enjoy looking at. I can also assure you that the $52 that is matched with this is a decent price for it because product design is not cheap. This product does not exist currently on the market. 
This design right here does not exist in any other shop, store, manufacturer, supplier. This was handcrafted. This has its own mold kit. It had to have its own tooling built. It is a unique product. That in itself is going to drive up the cost. I also want it to have better materials than an $8 brush. So then the cost to actually produce the brush is higher than that of a regular hairbrush. The cost of the bristles, because they are heat resistant, was higher. The cost of the body was much higher because I went with recycled plastics instead of readily available plastic. The back plate design increased the price of production. Production time of these brushes is much higher. And the overall general cost of this was and is much higher. So $52 for a brush is not within your budget, then that's absolutely fine. For some people, it is. I designed this brush for people who care about the appearance of their everyday items. For the people who like to surround themselves with pretty items. For the salon owners that want to level up their salon game and get better looking, nicer looking products. Better quality ones too. How amazing does this look? compared to this. Oh my God. This was designed for the person who loves functionality as much as they like beauty. This fuses them. If you think that an $8 brush and a $52 brush are exactly the same and that it shouldn't be priced at more than $8, then this is not for you. And I'm fine with that and I'm happy with that and you're more than welcome to stay and watch the content without buying into it. If you are after everything that I just mentioned, this might be the one for you. Might also be the one for you if you like to maintain your curls. I wanna go ahead and do this whilst watching uh, The White Lotus. So let's speed it up. A minute ride made me lose my way. One minute high, I knew my life would change And I was hoping that you could stay The city lights, all that remains Oh, I hate saying goodbye And I wish time went slow But I know it ain't too long, too long for us I wait for you This is what the end look looks like. I'm actually so obsessed with how nice and gentle the curls came out. I think I'm going to give it the tiniest spritz with a diffuser just to dry it quickly. However, I do really think this is such a sweet look if you want more of a casual, almost wet look effect. Like I think Kylie Jenner has done this sort of a look a few times, but I do want to just dry it just so it kind of it goes inside. When diffusing, we do not want to reintroduce any frizz. So the goal is always low speed, low heat. Do we like this? I feel like it's a look, but it is also going to kind of flatten down the look that we kind of worked hard to achieve. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. Oh, honey, hi. Try it out. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if this works for you. 
I'm going to go out now and enjoy these beautiful, beautiful curls. I don't have curls of my own, so this is going to be our next best thing. Oh my God, hi, hi. I'm going to be linking all of the products, including the brush, down description box below. Today I used the beautiful Divina, but there's also Angelica available too, if you want to try the more princess version of our beautiful brush. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. You can learn a thing or two. Join the fam. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video.